Okay, finally, let's hear what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, as usual, I go through the pickup combinations from uh, the bridge pickup, the both together, and the neck pickup alone. Uh, just to show, uh, and since I have the option of using uh, separate tones and volumes, I have lowered uh, the tone on the neck pickup, so it's like 7 out of 10. Other than that, they will be on 10 otherwise. So volume on 10, tone on 7, volume and tone on 10. So here we go. First, a clean sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, there you have it. Um, jazz master pickups and P90 pickups look alike, but they aren't actually the same um, construction-wise. Um, I think the the jazz master pickups are actually uh, not as deep as the P90s, and the winding goes well more <laughs> i don't know vertically than horizontally and so and i think a difference as well is that the the pole pieces are actually magnetic on a jazz master one and all these things together are supposed to make the jazz master pickups more brighter and they certainly are brighter than p90s if you couldn't tell and they are uh, even compared to other pickups, very bright. Uh, and they have this uh, high mid-range bump thing that really... It, it could sound kind of terrible when you use it on its own, but together in a band, this is what will make this guitar just cut through the mix. Um, so... If it's not a tone you're looking for, well, then it won't suit you. But if you want to make yourself heard, that's it. Sounds, it gets an 8. So all in all, 8.0. Um, very good number out of 10. Uh, it's a very good guitar. Uh, there are minor things uh, that you can actually fix like the fret ends uh, probably you can do something about the neck pocket um, and it plays really good and uh, as i said i like the pickups they are really good and they are really worthy of being on a fender jazz master this is a squire one but i think they have nailed uh, the sound of a jazz master actually I like the idea of the concentric knobs that you get tone and volume. That's what you usually get on a jazz master with all these knobs and things. And they made it much more simpler and well, it works. And this bridge, well, I'm not a big fan of the original jazz master tremolos. So this seems more solid and reliable and altogether better so for me this is probably a guitar that's like uh jazz monster when i had modified it so and i like the maple fretboard as well so way to go yeah i really recommend this guitar um for the price and yeah even for the style of it, it's very unusual. And uh, if I would get a Jazz Master guitar, I would go for this one rather than the Fender one, actually. Because this has more features that I like than the original one. So that's my opinion. Thank you. See you again soon. I've reviewed a Squire Vintage Modified. And who am I? Well, I'm the Swedish guitar nerd. So checking for more videos soon. Bye.